So today we're going to be talking about collaboration tools and how they can help you with any project that you may need to do. Picture the scene. You've just got an idea for a new project. So what's the first thing you do? Well, probably research the options for your project and get a good plan of the concepts and ideas around it. Evernote is a really useful tool for doing this as it acts as an online notebook. You can type in notes, but also drop in photos, annotate PDFs, as well as including snapshots of interesting things that you've found around the web using the Web Clipper tool. Because Evernote is an online tool, you can access it anywhere on pretty much any device. So the days of carrying heavy ring binders filled with notes and ideas are potentially over. And because Evernote is a digital service, you can share your Evernote notes with others so you can collaborate together on the project. With to-do lists, reminders, and a lot more to help make sure you stay on track, Evernote is a really handy tool for getting stuff done, but in a different way. But you've been doing lots of planning and think it's about high time you meet with your fellow collaborators to talk about next steps. This meeting might be over a cup of coffee in a nearby cafe, or it might be via Skype or Google Hangouts because you're dotted around the world and can't meet in person very easily. Now, we've all had those emails where someone asks if everyone is free at a certain time and it quickly descends into hundreds of emails back and forth. Well, there is an alternative, so please use it. The Humble Doodle Poll is free to use and allows people to select their own free times without having to have loads of emails flying around the place. It's simple. You fill in some possible dates and times, give people the option to say yes or no, or even an if needs be option for anyone who isn't sure, uh, to your suggested times, and then email the link out to everyone. Once everyone has responded, and you'll get alerts when this happens, you can pick the best date that most people can make. Simple. Not only is this a much easier and quicker way of getting people to agree on a time, but everyone who has the link to the poll can check back and see which data is looking the most popular, so they can plan ahead a bit more. Once you've got your time decided, you can meet up and discuss your project. But how do you keep collaborating when you're no longer in the same place? Well, Google Drive is an excellent tool for pulling together resources into one easy storage space. While I wouldn't recommend this for projects that work with sensitive information, due to where Google servers are located, as you won't be as legally protected in the case of any breaches, but it is really useful for working together on files. Google Drive's inbuilt word editor, as well as other options such as spreadsheets, allow for multiple people to work on the same document at the same time in real time. So just type away your thoughts and your colleagues can see what you put down and ask questions or make edits as you watch. With the option to work with video, convert files, store photos, and much more, Google Drive is a really varied workspace for any collaborative project. You can also add extra apps, such as ones for coding, photo editing, or even creating your own tailored Google Map. As Google Drive is cloud-based, you can also access it from pretty much any device, so you can work on the move as well as at your desk, so you're completely flexible. So why not try out some of these tools when you're starting your next project? Or maybe you're already using a really cool tool and you want to tell us about it. Let us know in the comments. And until next time, have fun collaborating.